still working on our new living quarters up here and we are still working on placing a carpet down here and the growing is still going pretty poorly but at least it's going we still have plenty of food so I'm not particularly worried about this one um, I'm tempted to stop cooking just to make sure they will use, they will use this properly but, I'm not entirely certain I want the... Oh, they left us meals. How nice of them. Red Fields has defected, developed an infection in his torso. I don't care. He's being released. Yep, he's being released. In fact, where is Lucky? Cloud watching. How nice. Way out there to watch the clouds. Okay, now. Right, okay, so he's already been doctored and then he'll be released. Red pills is developed, red pills are developed. Okay, not interested in these infections. He doesn't get medicine. But uh, once he's healed up enough, he'll be let loose and his people can help him. There he goes. Bye bye, red pills. Let's hope I never see you again. One thing that has occurred to me might be a good idea, seeing as that I always get tribal attacks from down here, is to build some... What's that? That's slate. Okay, so let's build some IEDs. We'll do the deadfall traps and we'll make them out of slate blocks, because we've got a lot of that. So I'm thinking, let's just put a, a few of them down here. So one, two, three... In fact, let's go four and five. It means I can't do anything down here, but at the moment I've got no plans on doing anything down here, so that seems perfectly safe to me. But actually, that's overkill. Let's cancel those. That way, people can walk through the, the middle of it, and that should be alright. And that should help us. And uh, to be honest with you, later on we should do that up here as well, because we often get pirates attacking us from this little corner here. Oh. Uh, might put some IEDs down here, say. That just weakens them up a little bit as they're going past. But so far, our defences seem to be working reasonably well, I'm quite happy to say. We've got one room here. And I think, to be totally honest with you, I'm going to give this one to Ben, because he is the person with uh, the most problems. Um, you yeah, know, dragging him down. He often has the most poor mood, so he can get the first room. And we'll see what he thinks about it later on. One step closer to getting rid of this this area. In fact, actually no, I've already got a lot of walls marked as, as being done. So let's just get this built, and perhaps we'll get some growing done. Looks like we're getting some cotton grown because this carpet is slowly being built, which is great. Nearly got that done. Ben is making us some more blocks, which is good. It does mean we need to work on the defences down here, but uh, we can get round to that. And, uh, we failed to recruit combo, but we've got a 15% chance. Yeah, 15% on both of them, so that will happen eventually. We're still making loads of food, so that's not really a worry to me. Even though our gardening situation is a little bit dire, we seem to be catching up. So that's not too bad. A bulk goods trader. Lucky, when you're awake, you're going to go and investigate that, I think. We're still not doing much in the way of research, but I can live with that. Uh, it's, uh, we, yeah, we should really start picking that up. But if we can get these two people, that's going to make our production far more efficient. Even if they're not particularly good at what they do. Lucky. Okay, deliver food to Pombo. No, not cleaning. Let's have a chat with the bulk goods trader. Okay, what can we do here? We can buy beer at a reasonable price. We're not making much at the moment, so let's buy some of that. Uh, 
get 20 there. Um, let's sell some of this. Uh, we keep the Devil Strand because we're growing it. We'll, let's lose the Iguana Skin. Uh, Dromedary Leather we can actually find, so that's not really a problem. And Medicine is expensive. Class Steel is... Well, we don't really need it, to be honest with you. We've got plenty of food. Uh, I want to keep that Uranium because we don't actually have much. We've got loads of work fur. We don't need what loads of work fur. Let's get rid of that. There we go. That's giving us a bit of money. And we keep the synth threads. Yeah. So, okay, 20 beer has only cost us 5 and some trade goods, which is excellent, I think. Interesting as well. There we go. There, it's made us a bit of space. I want to start building around here. In fact, what I want to do is make this a central courtyard. And uh, it needs some work still, I think. Visitors, not interested. Second room has been constructed. Let's put some stuff in that. Furniture, standing lamp. In the corner there. And a wooden bed. In the middle, more visitors. We are popular. And it looks like we're going to need to run the power lines up there, to be honest with you. So let's do that now. So we just run that up the middle there, and everything can come off that. There's our second bedroom. Yeah, we're nearly done with this. This is good. Um, actually, Yeah, a light there, and a light there. What's Ben think of his new room? Okay, um, Joyfield, very comfortable, still has low expectations, but he's feeling good. Uh, he's in a cramped environment. He's in an ugly environment. Well, I think that's about as large as I can make a bedroom, but he's not going to have his sleep disturbed, so that should make him slightly feeling better, and we will make these pretty as time goes by. So we'll leave them to it. Oh, the carpet's nearly done. Uh, we still want to get loads of cloth though, and it looks like, yes, it looks like we are picking up the uh, the farming a little bit. Uh, Brant is leaping in on that as well. Which possibly says we can't... Yes, we don't have uh, enough limestone by the looks of this. So I suppose we can make this out of slate. In fact, let's make this out of slate. Let's do this. Right, cancel these. And that one, and we'll make these out of slate. I, it does bother me that I'm using several different materials here, and it's giving me a real piebald effect, but I can correct that in the future. Uh, to the moment, building these walls is the more important thing. Manhunt... Oh, crap. Uh, Manhunter pack. Now, leave the area in a few days. Right, let's see what we can do. Where is everyone first? Everyone's in bed. That's good. Okay, so... Let's make sure that nobody gets out in the morning. We'll re restrict them, and let's see if the turrets can deal with them. Yeah. The turrets seem to be making short work of these guys. One down. Oh. oh, there's more down here. Okay. Actually, there's more than I thought there was. But the turrets seem to be taking out a few of them. That's good. One more down. Yeah, well, that's got a few of them down. And in the morning, we shall get these guys up and fighting, I think. Let's go through to the morning. A mad animal. A local iguana has gone mad. Okay. Don't think that really adds to my problems that much. Alright, let's get everybody up and breakfasted.
think that goes another turret. Yep. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to build a load, of, a load of new turrets. Right. Okay. You guys. Draft. Where should we get you first? Uh, let's get you down here. So draft you. There we go. And let's get you down here. Holiday is still restricted. Lucky, you come here. Branch, you come here. Alright, one more down. What can we do with these guys? Oh, we can just shoot them. Alright. Move you forward one, I think. Okay, that's that one down. Is there any more dogs? Any more mad lizards? Any more, any more? No, okay, that was fairly easily fixed. Alright, Davis. Fire on that wall. You three, let's undraft you. If you want to get back to work, and let's remove the restrictions. Okay, we've got plenty of metal, so. Rebuilding these is not really a problem. So let's do that now. Let's put in some requests for some new turrets. Steel. Yeah, I think steel for now. I'd like to make fast steel ones later on. But for now, steel will do nicely. And that one survived. Brilliant. Okay. Davis, let's undraft you. And have you hunted? Right. And they're all dead. Okay, apart from that one, which will get picked up by the hunter fairly soon. And everything is good to go, good to be hauled. That'll do nicely. I actually think of that, we need to get some of this slag hauled, don't we? Which uh, would actually help if we had the tools to deal with it. Um, so, actually, production. An electric smelter. We should put that up here. And in here. Oh, yeah, thanks. Um, storage. Raw resources. No. Um, chunks. There we go. Still snag chunk. I'll get them dragged into there. Yeah, so it looks like uh, dog is on the menu for a little bit, but unfortunately. And orders. All things. For all I know, that this slag is actually giving them. Uh, some extra protection, but I think it's time we got it cleared because we can turn it into metal. There we go. In fact, mm, we do actually have a problem here, and the problem is we don't have any meat, so let's unsuspend that. Uh, there we yeah, that way they'll make five meals until. Um, if it's possible, or simple meals if it's not, because I just realised that we were running out of meat. Which is a little bit of a problem, but it's one that we can deal with quite simply. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, marvellous. In fact, looking at that, we actually have more, especially with these dogs. Yep. Let's actually resuspend that for a little bit. There we go. Probably people have been eating nutrient paste for a little while, which is not good. But anyway, let's have a quick look at the uh, situation. Pirate merchant. I don't think we really have anything to sell at the moment. This room is done. And let's give this one to. Let's give this one to Holiday. Go. This one can be filled. 
So, furniture, standing lamp in the corner, and a wooden bed in the middle. In fact, why don't we just lay these all out now? Like that, and standing lamps. There we go. And if we get both these people, amusingly, we no longer have enough space. But we'll deal with that. Okay, um, actually think about it, floors, blue carpet, let's get some right up to the doorway there, and actually right up to the doorways here and here, so that'll look a little bit nicer. Uh, more dog on the pot, yay. Well, I suppose it's better than going hungry, isn't it? And, yeah, the farming seems to have picked up and we're getting back up to speed on that. That is going nicely. So, we have fended off yet another attack by the dreaded corgis. We have almost got our, our bedrooms built. That's taken us so long, unfortunately, that we're going to have to build another set of dormitories almost immediately. But that's not the end of the world. Let's, though, quickly before we go, see if there are any hunting opportunities. Any camels or larger game. Speak of the devil. Um, hunt. You. Other than that, the pickings are a bit thin, really, aren't they? Nothing there. Nothing really there. Something tiny there. Oh, it's an iguana. But this area has never been the best for hunting to be totally honest with you but that's not a problem they will have to lead the vegetarian lifestyle but we will have the steel thank you very much sounds like somebody's throwing themselves into the hunting quite merrily but New recruit! We have successfully recruited Blue! Excellent. And we need Blue, so let's get you set up the way we normally do. So everybody makes a priority of repairing and cleaning. That way there's just a little bit of it to do every day and it doesn't build up. Um, firefighting is of course important and if you're ill I want to make you a priority of uh, being the patient. And flicking switches makes sense. So he's got reasonable personality skills, he's got reasonable construction, reasonable art. Okay, and so we'll take that off. And what shall our priority be? Now, to be honest with you, we could actually use a grower, but he doesn't actually seem to be too excited by the idea of growing. And he's not that great a miner. I think we will actually make him prioritize art a little bit. And prioritize hauling. So let's make that a three. So he'll haul, then he'll do art. And everything else he wants him to do, he'll do after that. So we'll make that a four. That stays a four. That stays a four. Smithing and tailoring are fours. Crafting is a four. There we go. So. Provided there's no hauling to do, he will work on our artwork. And I think we're actually about the point in the colony now where artwork will be a good thing for us. So there's that. His outfits. We want him to be a worker. Like that. And actually, let's clear the forest off of Brand because we've got some nice materials now. There we go. Right. And all we need to do now is find him a weapon. Blue, where are you? Blue, where are you? There you go. Alright. Oh, you're working on that. Let's get you that. Let that do do that. That's another room done. Our little pie bold place here. Okay, now you've done that. Um 
What can you give you as a weapon? Well, it looks like that, basically. Equip the pistol. Yeah, everything's in the trading zone, that's alright. I just wondered what... Oh, probably we got that from a recent fight. Who's in a poor mood? Ben! Ben in a poor mood? Never. I refuse to believe that Ben is in a poor mood. What was that with you? Feeling terrible. Yeah. Shall we, shall we, we should be able to get you a bionic eye somewhere. That might make you happy. Oh, I don't think anything is ever going to make you happy, really, is it? This fault, the nervous trait doesn't help you there. But the fast walker means that we like you. And you're a pretty good miner. So you carry on and we'll cope with your grumpiness. Yeah, we're building up the food again, that's good. Okay, the crops are growing well. And the buildings are almost done. So, I think we'll leave it there. So until the next time, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been the Rimworld. Let's reconstruct that. Thank you and goodbye.